welcome to April, a wonderful month of springtime and rain and April showers bring May flowers, but it also brings daffodils, which is so refreshing after the last couple of months of whatever you get in those months. What I love about this is if you're like me, I don't rake my yard because I'm lazy. So what I found is daffodils grow up and tulips, they grow up between all the fall foliage, which is what I was trying to get here. Nice natural moss and fall and goodbye fall and hello spring. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today as part of it is just a big cluster of daffodils with some beautiful fall foliage, keeping it simple because you don't need to do much to these beautiful flowers to make them wonderful. So all you're going to need is any kind of container. I'm going to put this here. And I've got this gorgeous red because I love red and yellow. It's a beautiful contrast, but you could use black. You could use anything. You could use a very simple and straightforward container. We're going to use that. And I've got about 20 stems of daffodils, which is just a couple of bundles. And in this one, I decided to leave a few of the buds closed because as you know, daffodils don't all come up and open at the same time. They come up at different stages, which I think is wonderful. Love the flower. All right, and you do know, don't mix daffodils with other flowers because daffodils give off an extraordinary amount of toxin and it will kill pretty much everything in the vase. However, if you do want to mix them, they, what you can do is you can cut them, you can put them in water, leave them for 24 hours, let them excrete all the toxins and then bring them out, do not recut them and put them into something else. Personally, I don't do that. I just like to leave well enough alone. All right, so we're going to need some foam. So I'm going to grab some foam. I've already pre-soaked it. I got a whole block here. All right, and we're going to use half a square. And I got my handy foam knife. They come up with all sorts of stuff now. This one I just had from my old kitchen, like when I first moved out. And you got to love it. But Oasis is coming up with foam knives and all kinds of stuff. That back. So we're just going to put that here now. You would want to glue this or tape this into your container. So then you're just going to start it's so simple. All you're going to do is start placing your daffodils. And I put them at different heights because I like the fact we're going with a nice natural feel and they all come up at different heights and different lengths. And I basically do onesie at a time. Put that little butt in there, isn't that beautiful? And look at that, it's already taking a beautiful form. I like to have it sprayed. I think the spraying is just, the natural form of it is wonderful. Because you know in your garden they say you shouldn't plant anything in lines, like daffodils and tulips, you wouldn't want to go bulb, bulb, bulb. You want to have clusters of bulbs, so they come out in clusters, which is what I'm trying to get across here. I love daffodils, gosh darn it. And see how they're just kind of nice, even shape and putting the beautiful buds in. There's not really a rhyme or reason to how I'm putting these in. Again, it's just completely whatever you think a natural form would look like of a cluster of daffodils. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I love spring. Spring is a wonderful time of year. Alrighty, just like that, it's just that simple. You put them in, done. Now I like sheet moss and I tend to use this quite often because A, it's a lot easier than trying to do greens. In this case, it's a beautiful natural texture, kind of, you know, mossy after snow and all that. So all I'm doing is just taking it, hard, eh? Rubbing it down there. There we go. And then maybe this big hunk over here, placing it down. And you can put wire in there. This stuff stays on pretty good because I'm not really bringing it anywhere. I just tuck it into the sides there and that's it. And that's the moss part. So with the fall leaves, what I have is some beautiful oak leaves. Just some nice dried, natural dried oak leaves as well as this gorgeous garland that we often use during the fall season. And all I did was take a little piece 
and then just put her in anywhere. Right? And I, I would tuck a few down into the side of this container just to add a little interest in the side. So I like that hanging, hanging off a little bit in the front and the back. Cut this big knot off because I do stick some right into the foam just to secure it in. It's so much fun. And then, again, I didn't use too many of the red because I have a big front of red, so I stuck a lot with the, the natural because what I like is just to, to add a little interest to the front is to take a big piece and cut off the top of that. And the fact that they're broken to me is wonderful because leaves just aren't perfect. And I just took it and put it right in. There we go. Just so it's settled right there. I think that's wonderful. And if you like, one thing you can do if you're having a little fun is even, if you wanted, weave a few there so that really the daffodils pushed up right through those leaves. Put this one here. And that's pretty much it. Look, I think I'll add one more little bit there just to get my point across. I think it's so much fun when you can have fun with different seasons. And that's that. So you can really have a beautiful, inexpensive arrangement, because daffodils, as you know, aren't expensive. And just enjoy and happy spring. Thank you.